Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. Today we're gonna to be talking about the pros and cons of liquid and powder foundation. As a matter of fact, on this side of my face, I'm wearing a liquid foundation. And on this side of my face, I'm wearing a powder foundation. And as you can see, there's really not too much of a difference. I'm going to explain to you the reason why. Just in case you want to switch up from liquid to powder or powder to liquid. So if you'd like to find out the difference between liquid and powder foundation, just keep watching. So first things first, let me give you a little bit of history on me and foundations. I have been wearing powder foundation for 20 something years. That's a long time, <laughs> up until five months ago. Then I started wearing liquid foundation and I've learned a lot between the differences of both of those. So we're gonna go through, and if you see me looking down, I took some notes just because I wanna give you all of the information that I've learned from these foundations, the pros and the cons, the good, the bad, and the ugly, okay? Let me start by showing you guys the liquid and powder foundation that I use. So in powder foundation, I use Bare Minerals and it's in the color medium tan. And in liquid foundation, I use CoverGirl Clean Foundation and it's also in the color tan. We're gonna start with powder and I'm gonna give you guys the pro of powder, okay? So one of the pros in powder is it doesn't have to be set. When using a powder foundation, you never have to set it. All you do is apply it to your skin, finish with the rest of your makeup routine, you're out the door. With liquid, it has to be set. Liquid foundation has to be set. There are no ifs, ands, buts about it. You cannot apply liquid foundation and think you're going out the door. Won't happen. It just won't. Another pro to powder foundation is the fact that it does not set in wrinkles. And wrinkles are not a bad thing, so I don't want to really come off like that. But sometimes we want our skin to just be evenly, uh, even tone. And if you're of mature skin and you have like a few wrinkles or, I'm, I'm looking for a nice word. Let's just say it, you're aging. And you might not want to just show that to the world right off the bat. You want to camouflage it well powder foundation is better for that because it's just a powder so it's gonna like go right over it versus liquid foundation liquid foundation if you don't set it correctly or if you don't touch it up throughout the day it tends to make us look older than what we really are because of the simple fact that it's going to start sinking into our in not imperfections our wrinkles it's gonna start sinking into places that we don't want it to go. There, there. Another pro to powder foundation, well, Bare Minerals powder foundation because that's the only powder foundation that I gravitate towards is Bare Mineral offers SPF 15 coverage. Liquid foundation, I haven't found one as of yet, offers SPF coverage at all. And yes, we can always go back in before we apply our foundation and add SPF. But that's another step. That's another extra step versus just putting on powder foundation. And SPF 15 is not, I think, I think we're supposed to be wearing SPF 30, but some coverage is better than no coverage. Now let's jump to some of the pros in liquid foundation because I know you guys are probably like, well dang, you slamming liquid foundation, all you've done is told us about the pros in powder. Getting to that. Okay, so some of the pros in liquid foundation is the fact that it offers full coverage. I myself, whether it's liquid foundation or powder foundation, I have never wanted full coverage. All I look for in a foundation is just to even out my skin tone and give me a, a little hint of color. That's the only thing I look for in a foundation. Liquid foundation offers full coverage. You could probably do a full coverage in a powder, but you might look like, <laughs> might not come out right. You're probably gonna look like cake batter or something. I'm, I'm just keeping it 100. With liquid foundation, 
it offers full coverage. If it's a blemish that you want to cover up, if it's a dark mark you want to cover up, if it's anything that you want to cover up, Liquid Foundation does offer that coverage so you can get rid of it. You can camouflage it very well. So that's a pro for Liquid Foundation. So Liquid Foundation does have a pro. Another pro in Liquid Foundation is that it offers different formulas. You have hydrating, you have matte, you have regular. Like there are so many different formulas in Liquid Foundation versus powder foundation. Pretty much Bare Minerals offers matte and regular. But for the life of me, with a powder foundation, I don't even know why you would gravitate towards matte. Powder is very drying. That's a con on the powder side it's, it's drying if you have dry skin you're gonna have to find a setting spray that's gonna offer you a lot of moisture because powder foundations are dry it's a powder that's what it is liquid foundations are more hydrating because it's a liquid so if you're looking for different formulas liquid foundation does offer a lot of different formulas in that aspect of hydrating matte and regular now let's balance it out in pro and con, pro versus con in both of them. Okay, so in powder foundation, there are not a lot of, there are not a large range of varieties of skin tone. I haven't seen it. I mean, it, it it's just not as much as liquid foundation. In liquid foundation, you find a range of skin tone complexion colors. I mean, a lot, but in liquid foundation, that's also a con because if you're just starting off with foundation, it could be very overwhelming to find your match. And just a little heads up, if you go, or not a heads up, just a little advice. If you go to a store to get matched up for liquid foundation, step outside because natural light is the best light to see if that's your complexion shade. Um, because in a store it can be very, what's the word I'm looking for? Brain freeze. <laughs> it can fool you. It can, you'll think like, okay, this is my complexion. And you'll get outside and be like, what the, and you'll turn back around and get a refund because I'm telling you. And step outside, take five minutes, step outside, come back, take two or three minutes. I mean, it doesn't take that long. And just see, because the oxidation, oxidizing in formulas, period, it could change it from light to dark. It could change it. Final thoughts between liquid and powder foundation is once everything blows over with what the world is going through, I would say invest in them both. There's a reason and a season to wear them both. In the summertime, you might not want heavy coverage because it's hot outside, so you use a powder foundation. If you have a blemish on your face and you're trying to camouflage it, you'll use a liquid foundation. I recommend if you're a powder foundation person, go invest in a liquid foundation. If you're a liquid foundation person, go invest in a powder foundation. Once we get our coins in order, as you can see, because this side is powder and this side is liquid, there's really not a big difference once you know what you're looking for, whether it's full coverage. Now, if you're just completely a full coverage person, powder will not, under any circumstance, you will not get the outcome. You won't, so don't even bother. But if you're just looking to even out your skin tone, like myself, then I would say get both. I hope this tutorial gave you guys the information that you need maybe to clear up the difference between powder and liquid so you can decide which foundation is right for you. Until next time guys, please stay safe. I'm sending you lots of love. Thanks for watching. Bye.